Now, this is strange. You know, as they are coming up with bills to support, um, you know, creating an agency for the repentant Boko Haram, repentant terrorist, repentant ISWAP, and any other person, rather than them creating an agency to take care of their marjories where Abu Safal and his, um, these terrorists, you know, arrest people and format their mind, format their memory, brainwash them. Uh, well, just happening now, repentant Boko Haram members arrived Maduguri from Niger Republic. They claim that they are former repentant terrorists, former Boko Haram members. In fact, they even came with their wives or their concubines. They claim that they have recently surrendered to the troops in Niger Republic and they are, have, they are arriving, they've arrived Maduguri and um, the Borno State capital. The former terrorists arrived at Maduguri airport in a military aircraft paid for by Nigeria in the company of soldiers led by one um, Shafa, a major general, who is the coordinator of the Federal Government Safe Corridor Program. Mr. Shafa said, we have just delivered 25 persons comprising men and women and children. He said the ex Bukwara members laid down arms and surrendered to the Nigerian government, who contacted the Nigerian gov um, government, um, the Niger um, government, and somehow they found a way to bring them back. Now, what do you think about what is happening here? I have not seen anywhere in the world where Boko Haram terrorists or ISWAP or any people that have such inclinations to such kind of violence, um, they are pardoned this way, while people that are speaking truth to power are kept in prison um, and they are kept there in perpetuity. Look at the case of Omoyele Shore and look at the case of Mazen Namdekan and the rest of those people. When you see um, the activities of this, um, this new this government, this regime, one will wonder what is really happening. It's like it's a government for terrorists, for bandits, for Boko Haram, for kidnappers and the rest of this. Now, the excuses that some of them come up with is that during the time of Goodluck Ebele and previous administration, they said that Niger Delta militants that were busting pipelines that belong to Nigeria, that were extracting crude oil and doing all sorts of nefarious activities, kidnapping, and just mention them, just name them. They said this group of people were also pardoned. They were given what they call amnesty. And till date, they are collecting huge amount of money. Now, an average, or let's say, a person that goes to school, went through the process in Nigeria, does not even have job. And aside having no job, they do not have opportunities to set in this. Now, they say they came up with Empower. They say they came up with uh, certain programs where if you want to be a farmer, uh, you want to grow rice and stuff like that, government will sponsor you and give you some amount of money. They, they claim that there are a lot of opportunities out there. In some states like Lagos State, they lend you some amount of money. You open up, you start up a business and stuff like that. Yes, they, they, are, they have different you know, little droppings of, year, of stuff here and there. But then, do you have to be a terrorist? Do you have to be a, 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 a bandit, a kidnapper? Do you have to be a militant in the Niger Delta before the government knows that they need to do the right thing? Now, it's like, you know, you are sweeping a house and you are sweeping around the, the foot mat. Rather than taking the foot mat, dusting it out. The issue needs to be dealt with from the bottom, from the roots. What is the reason for these things happening? These are the things that these people should work on. But then, you know what? They like the system the way it is. Once in a while, they just try to quell and shut them out of certain groups of people by granting amnesty, by wasting money, by, you know, there are some people that are making money out of this repentant Boko Haram story, and even the terrorists themselves. Now, Mr. Shafa said they have delivered 25 terrorists into the midst of civilians, because these people are not normal. He said the ex-Boko Haram members laid, uh, laid down their hands and surrendered to the Nigerian government. So, we have brought them home safely question is this what has happened to the idps internally displaced people persons the one that Boko Haram have terrorized they've turned them homeless they've turned them without purpose some of them are suffering from ptsd post-traumatic disorder some of them the children are they, they've turned to orphans some of them are widows what has the government done to them? Has the government been able to put them on private uh, aircraft such as this and give them that new life and pay them money because it is not their fault that such groups of people exist? That's tell you, that, that, that shows you that these things are just wrong. The ideology is wrong. The mindset is wrong. The value system is wrong. The structure is wrong. In fact, these people do not understand what they call systems. A, a, a structure, a way where things are done in a certain way. This is not right at all. Granting um, Boko Haram, giving them all of this. What they should have done 
is to start from the bottom. What has caused this? Let us relate to these people in this northern part of Nigeria that have embraced terrorism. Why? Because we've left our majorists on the street out of school children. Do you know the amount of money that federal government shares allocations called the security vote that is being given out to all the states in Nigeria? And this money is unaccounted for and it runs into billions of Naira. This money is at the discretion of the governor of that state. So if they are sharing this money already, why are we having issues with security again? Now they say $2 billion was shared during Good Luck Jonathan's administration, wasted. We know all of that. It is true. They spent the money. They shared it amongst themselves. Some people in the media took theirs. Police, some people buried their own under the ground. Some were found in houses all over the, all over the nation. Some even had to take their own money outside of Nigeria, bury it somewhere else, buy some properties. We know all of this. What does that mean? Previous administration, this administration, they are all criminals. They do not have the interest of the people's, people at heart. The country itself was designed first by the British for their own personal purposes. They like a business center. And now the elites are only using this as a business center, not to better the lives of the people. The policies are not to better the lives of the people. What about the 10,000 naira? Is it 5,000 naira they say they are sharing? Trade that money. It's the most senseless things you can think of in this time and age. Trade that money. How, what, what is this 10,000 naira thing? When these people are supposed to be in a system where everyone is documented, there is a viable database, a, a, a database that you can actually relate to. And this database, everyone is registered there. And with the registration, they know who social assistance should go to. But unfortunately, these people are not normal. They are not normal. You might think they don't know how to put things right. They know what to do and how to put things right. At least they can copy the way things are done in Senate times where they go to hide the money. But they don't want to do this because it pays them to steal money and keep. So, ex Bokwara members, they claim they lay down their hands and they claim that they are bringing them home safely. That is the word, according to the Shafa, the man in charge, military major general Shafa, he said, We brought them home safely. They brought home Boko Haram's home safely. They brought home a terrorist safely. What about the people these people have displaced? And handed them to the Borno State Government for onward rehabilitation as part of the Operation Safe Corridor de-radicalization um, de program, he said. He said, we are using this opportunity to encourage those that are still in the bush. Come out, because the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Major General Muhammad Buhari, has given them an open hand to drop their weapons and embrace peace. We are not talking of insurgency. We are not talking of people protesting. We are talking of terrorists that have no ideology. They want to kill their own mom, their own parents, and their brothers and sisters. They want to, you know, they, they want to force certain kind of religious views that are that, that are devious, that are demonic on other people. And this group of people have killed other people, they've kidnapped, there's something they don't do. So they claim that. Oh, these people, they are just using religious ideology. It's not different from the Niger Delta militants that kidnap people. People die when they kidnap them because they also think they have an ideology of our land. All is being taken out of it and we are not employed. So we have to resort into arms and ammunition and killing and, and all of these criminal activities. We have to embrace this for us to make a point. And they say these people too, their own ideology is not now our land alone. It's just about religion. And we are going to kidnap people. We are going to cut the head of people and kidnaps a, 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 a girl and use the religion as a view while those ones are using our land as a view economic reason one is religious reason that is just what it is they say so everybody has an ideology one is religion one is economy economic religion economic and religious view so that is the reason why um they they, they, they are granting this people so the Bono state commission of women affairs will receive returnees said the state government will provide them with um, psychos, uh, psychosocial support, feed them, clothe them, and give them uh, give some form of education and skill acquisition. He said a center has been incubated by the Borno governor, Baba Gana Zulum, with skills acquisition tools that will enable them gain skills before they are reunited with their families. So I'm going to keep you guys posted on what else is going to come on, come up from this new package that they are running. And uh, while people are there, people are going through issues and challenges, yet. These people are bent on feeding, clothing, and giving a, a Nigerian money to terrorists rather than the, the root cause of the issue. That is the point. What is the root cause? Because no one 
No one, no, no one decides where they will be born into, but then you can make decisions. It depends on your, your, your mindset, your value system, and what you have surrounding you, the norms around you. So when you look at all of these you know, together, when you bring all, those, this, all, all of these issues together, you will realize that something has to be done from the, from the, from the root, and that is, in, that is re-educating these young chaps called Amajuris in the North, and doing the right thing in the nation. So that's what it is. If you have some other solutions to all of this, apart from breaking away from Nigeria, um, if you are asked and you are going to be paid um, for this, let's assume you are not saying, I want to break away from Nigeria. If you are going to be paid um, and you are going to be asked a question, how do you think the issues of the terrorist and ISWAP and all of these things happening in the northern part of Nigeria, how do you think, what do you think is the solution to it, apart from the, the, the military action um, towards them? What about the, the one I just you know, came up with? The Amajiris, where they come, where, where they go to pick up children, pick up young people and format their mind, brainwash them. What else do you think is a solution to this? That is what it is for now. If you are not a member of this channel, let us grow it together by you tapping on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell. Below, it will automatically make you a member of this channel. And if you are already a member of this channel, I say a very big thank you for the support. Thanks for stopping by.